Today we are going to be talking about something that has been a long time coming, the Monona Blahnik launch at Netaporte. So um, it's already launched, by the time this video goes out I think it would have been online just for over a week. Before it went live I actually had such the privilege of being on a Zoom call and it's just, I don't want to get into negativity but this whole COVID thing, honestly, it's like mentally challenging now and I'm starting to really miss all of my work meetings. I forget like how you become friends with the people that you work with, even because blogging can be quite a lonely industry, get the little baby filing out. It, I really used to look forward to the PR meetings and events. And anyway, I got to be on a Zoom call with Christina Blahnik. I mean, imagine having your surname as Blahnik. I would literally never want to get married or take a new name. Um, Christina is the niece of Mr. Blahnik. Um, and I remember reading an interview actually at the beginning of the year, um, I think it was for Vogue, and she was. She even said herself like, she realizes how lucky she is to like have an uncle like Mr. Blahnik. And I've had the absolute honor. I had tears in my eyes when I met him because I mean, I used to shop with a lot of celebrities and I never used to be phased. They actually used to put me with all the sports people because I never used to knew who, know who anyone was. But Mr. Blahnik was one of very, very few, the most per, out of everyone, um, where I actually felt like a bit like, and I didn't expect it because I was at the Manolo head office um, with the PR team. I can't remember what it was like a press day and we were allowed to pick a pair of shoes. And I was there, like, I, th I think I had my dogs there, or was there someone else with dogs there? I can't remember. And there was only, there wasn't many of us there. And one of the Manolo Blanet girls, I remember, I never forget it, it was about two years ago. She walked into the room and I could see on her face that something. She just looked super happy and I thought, what's she doing? And then he walked in. I'm like getting goosebumps thinking about it. And I am still hormonal, so if I start crying or something, just ignore me. But it was such an amazing memory. And he just walked in. And I was just like, I don't know what to do with myself. I'm getting red. Look, you can see how much it means to me because I'm actually going a bit red. And the most hilarious story, I must tell you this. I promise I'll show you the shoes in a second. But Mr. Blahnik, first of all, he's the most one of the most magical people. Just his aura, he's literally magical. Someone said to me the other day, um, someone in, in like the industry said to me, oh, Have you ever met him? I said, Yeah, I have. And he said, What was he like? And I my answer is magical. He's just a magical person and he's just so sweet. And I don't mean that in a condescending way because he's way more important than I am, but he's just really sweet. And he has his little white um, kind of like, you know, chemist doctor kind of jacket on where he sits and designs. And there was two dogs there and I remember he was all over the dogs and Paris loves dogs. So they were both talking with the dogs and there was a guy, which I, I don't know who he is. I think he might have been Mr. Blanick's assistant and he was dressed very well, like very fashion like checkered tapered trousers he looked really amazing and he was quite a character and Paris who has no idea about fashion which I love that and no idea who anyone is literally we've had times where he's been saying standing next to Beyonce and Brad Pitt on on two different occasions and he doesn't know who they are so he doesn't know who Mr. Blarnick is. So he thought that that was Mr. Blarnick and he was sitting down with this sweet man in a white doctor's coat talking about dogs and I was giving him the eye and I've been with Paris 10 years and um and he he was like what's wrong and I said to him after I was like do you know that you were talking to Mr Blarnick for like half an hour about dogs and it was so, he's so down to earth it was so amazing so anyway four minutes talking about that but it was magical and it was just such a privilege I'll never forget it and I had the privilege of meeting him twice so Christina Blarnick is Mr. Blarnick's niece, and we did a Zoom call with Nette Porte. It would have been amazing to have met her and done it at an event, but what can we do? Um, 
and she just gave us some insight into the brand and it was so interesting so hopefully I can channel that into everything I'm telling you so I will tell you a couple of things that she shared as I'm going through talking with this but I won't keep you in suspense any longer I had actually ordered these before so these are gifted from Net Porte because I am a part of the the Manolo Blahnik launch which if I'm honest with you I'm just gonna say it, and I do not say this often and I never do like clickbait and big things up I'm actually a really bad blogger in that sense that I don't big things up and I kind of wish I did but this has been one of my most proudest collaborations and projects to work on because I love Manolo Blahnik so much I told you I used to save up and buy it on my work discount and wear them as uniform and it's one of my literally one of my favorite all-time brands and Nesta Forte is a favorite brand of mine so I, I'm just all like so excited about all of this so this is the first pair that I picked and it is the Maycell Pump in Navy. So I actually ordered these before the Zoom meeting and Christina actually said one of the people on the Zoom asked her what her favorite shoe was. Um, and she did say a seasonal piece, which I actually have something very similar that's seasonal. So I'll talk about that right after. Um, she said that she likes the, the backless Maycell, but this is her ultimate favorite shoe because it's good for all, all weather. So like at the moment, she would pick this over a backless one. Um, and I have to agree with her really. I know the Hang EC is the most commercial one, but I will always love the Hang EC. I love that um, contrast of the feminine and like someone even said in my YouTube comments, oh, I just find them too evening. And I say over and over again that I love that about it where you just pair that evening look with jeans in it and a t-shirt because they are so comfortable you can totally do that and it's so practical um but i am a huge lover of the maysal they are so um, everyone's probably gonna have a go with the way i say that but this is my accent i can't do anything about it well i guess i can but i don't want to um they are just so comfortable they do come in a slightly higher heel but i do love this heel just because it's incredibly comfortable i can literally run around and wear these all day long um i have a navy pair missing from my collection i do have navy um navy lurum but these are not the kind of shoe that I would walk around shopping and everything. So, and I just think the navy so chic, looks so, so great with jeans, which is my favourite way to wear um, Manolo, especially this kind of height. And I have just bought myself a long navy Max Mara coat, uh, like more of a duster coat. So, even what I'm wearing now, I've got my favourite jeans on, which are from my knit portal. I'll link them below. And um, just wearing these. And then these for evening so they have the most beautiful color of the lure room on the site it's like a, a really nice gray color so i'll link those below i think their lure room silver gray ones were like the star of the show so yeah this was christina blanick's favorite shoe and i definitely have to agree with her i just wear them so so much and they have all the classic heavy i saw black um i mean i'll, I'll let you check them out yourself but buy is really good now the other pair of shoes that christina said she loved which i couldn't believe it um were the new black and white pair which i'll put up a picture here and the only reason why i didn't pick those and i was very very tempted because they are absolutely stunning and Ness Porte have styled them with um like a long a long skirt and it looks amazing really nice flattering height to about here but I'll put the picture here and I'll put the link below. Now these are a seasonal pair of boots that I got a, quite a long time ago to be honest and I recently started wearing them because they're slightly too big for me and because my feet are still swollen from the pregnancy they've been my so so comfortable. I'll put up a picture here of me wearing them and I got so many people asking me where are your boots from um, and I did tag Manolo Blahnik but People were saying, oh, are they new season and they're not out yet? But they were actually the opposite. They were so old. So if you liked these in the picture, they actually are doing them new season. Even the same kind of true Manolo Blahnik style, black here, white at the front. So, so similar. Um, but a newer take on these. And I couldn't believe it because I literally had these for so long. Wore them about a month ago. And then they're in the new collection. And they're my favourite from the whole Nets Porte job, really. Um yeah literally my favorite if you want to know what one of my favorite ones were so i don't know what i'm putting out and then you'll have to stay tuned for the last pair that i've ordered um i think i'll unbox that on instagram i won't do it on youtube and um, now the next pair 
I've basically ordered all of my favourite ones in other colours that I don't have except for this. This is my first shoe in this style and everyone's been telling me, oh Claire, you're missing this colour. Ta-da! So I've wanted this style for quite a while. It is the Hangisi, um, the backless Hangisi, and this is also my favourite heel height. And I very much love green. I didn't think I'd love this Birkin as much as what I actually do. I actually wear it all the time, but it's like um, it's called Vert Cypress, and it's a forest green, as you can see. They look so beautiful together. Um, and I just visualise all of my Manolos with cut-off jeans. Um, and they're just so comfortable and I love it how from the front they just look like they could be any heel height, they could be the flat ones, they could be this, this heel, the bigger heel, but I've got my first pair of green Manolos and I love them. I, lo I just love navy and green for winter, I just think it's such a chic colour, it just makes things look effortless. So I'm so happy about them, I'm really excited about those ones, I can't wait to wear them, and I will be wearing them. I will be wearing them, even if I'm at home. I'm determined to make the most of the Christmas spirit, I'm not going to let this situation ruin my Christmas positivity, and I will still be wearing all my Christmas outfits and shoes at home. Oh, these are my favourites, so I actually nearly bought these myself, and I could only find the higher heel. I, I really like the high heel as well, but this is my favourite heel. So it's the Maysal in the beige. Looks very nice with what I'm wearing now. I'm going to wear these a lot. I do spray them with like a suede protector. Um, make sure you do that outside because it does smell a lot. Um, and I haven't had any trouble with, with mine at all. Like I have black, two black and two very, very light grey um, in Manolo's. And... I actually wore the light grey ones one New Year's Eve and walked all across the um, muddy garden when we was doing the fireworks and then I just waited it for it to dry and brushed it off. Um, so they're actually quite easy to manage but these are my favourite and you know the Maysal, the price point is very very good. It's practically, approximately, I meant to say approximately, half the price of a Hangisi pair and they're just a very sophisticated shoe. Extremely comfortable. Last one. Remember I have another pair which I'll be wearing. On its own. Um, true to size, Manolo and true to size. There's lots of rumours about Manolo Blahnik being small. I actually don't think they run small. I think that they're a very true to size shoe. However, I will say, and I've said this before, Manolo Blahnik is quite a slim shoe. So if you do have slightly wider feet, then yes, you would need to go up half a size because they're not a wide shoe at all. Whereas I have very slim feet, so I would buy true to size. If you don't have slim feet, I can imagine that you would go up half a size. Now I go up half a size in the Lurum, which is back this, um, and I go up half a size in the Maysal like the, the back this made out. So all of my others that I've showed you I'm a 39 and these ones I go for 39 and a half. Uh, for no other reason than I do not want my foot to be, my heel to be right at the edge or slightly over. I like it to be within. That's why I go half a size up. But isn't this the most gorgeous like chocolatey tan colour? And I just ordered if you're watching all my other hauls, I just ordered, look, love this colour, I, the most autumn colour shoe, right? Um, what did I order? I've actually got the whole row here. So I've ordered a Blaze Milano coat. Paris told me that it's Blase. I'm not sure. Um, a Blaze Milano jacket in this colour. A Max Mara coat in this colour. Um, a tassel... I'll link it below, but a beautiful tassel. Look at that. <gasps> wow. And a fringe knitted cardigan in a colour a bit lighter than this. So I'm going to be wearing these a lot. And today is the most beautiful sunny day. It's so, uh, all the leaves are kind of yellow and yellow and a bit green. It's so sunny and I could absolutely still wear these. So yeah, literally some of my face. And they did have the Hennessy, but I literally just picked the ones that I know I, I wear all the time. So if you are looking for a new pair of no LeBlanc style other than the Hengi C, you can see I'm a huge fan of the Mace Out and I really do love the the boots, the, all of the boots that they, they picked there. What else do I need to show you? 
So I think that's it. I'm just thinking of the other pair, which aren't here yet, so in the second job. So I will leave the link below to the whole Manolo um, collection at net -a I'm so excited that they're finally selling one of my all-time favourite brands. And I'm so excited that they've picked all my favourite colours and had the biggest selection of Maysell, which is one of my faves. Clearly, you will know that now. Um, and we're about to go into the studio and film a little mini video. And I've actually got two ideas. One should be on my Instagram now, so go check that out. Um, and the other one, which I think will be even better idea, but I'm waiting for one thing to be delivered, I'll be doing another mini video. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. Uh, I do my best to try and keep the content separate. In the next Nono Blahnik reveal, I'm going to unbox that probably on the grid, sometimes on stories, whatever I fancy on the day, I don't know. So I'd love to go see you over there on my Instagram. I'll leave the link to my jumper below and the jeans, which you can't see, but you would have seen in the cutaways. So thank you so much for watching. Um, if you need any help with um, anything, or especially with the Mono Blahnik sizing or colours or wedding shoe and heel high, I'm pretty much familiar with every single style and heel high now. So, um, Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. This looks so good with the town ones. Oh, they're so comfy. This looks so good with this outfit. <gasps> Feeling myself now with these shoes.